Today I'm going to show you how to use brand kits in Canva. Once you're in Canva, head over to the menu section here, click on that, and it's going to reveal all your various options. Under tools, you'll find brand kits. Now, one thing I want to point out quickly, the pro version and the free version is a little bit different. Let me bring up the free version here. So the free version, you cannot use logos. Like if I click on the add logo button, it asks me to try it for free for 30 days. Uh, and if you do want to do that, I've got links in the description below. But unfortunately, if I click on these logos or I try to remove them, add my own, you can't in the free version. Brand colors, you're allowed three colors, but you cannot add any more brand colors in the free version. In regards to the brand fonts, you can't customize them. I mean, it's not a big deal. You can change them manually. And of course, the uploaded fonts, it's grayed out. It doesn't enable you to do that. So you really just have the color palette to work with. Even more reason to go with Canva Pro. With the brand kit, there's basically three main sections. You have your brand logos or your visual assets, your brand colors, and then your fonts. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add brand kit so we could start from scratch. And I'm just gonna call this Phantom Company. That sounds good. Now it's fairly simple to work with this and straightforward. For the logos, obviously you just click on the plus button and you find your logo and you simply upload it. And automatically what's gonna happen is the brand colors are going to detect the colors from the logo and add it there. You could keep it or remove it. Let's keep it for now. And then of course, if you have variations of the logo, different colors, with the pro version, you're unlimited. You can upload as many as you want. I would say too that if you have profile pictures or digital signatures you like to use, you can also upload it in the brand logos area as well. Now for brand colors, as you saw, we had this automatically populate when we uploaded the logo, but you can also add your own color palette here. So let's say I did something like a purple, which are kind of my colors now. We're also going to add a little bit of a bluish color here. Black gray is okay. And I'm just going to add black as well. Now you can edit this at any time. If you want to change the colors, you can remove it here, or you could add additional ones with the plus button, obviously. And if you have specific colors, you can actually enter in the hex code. And for those of you that do actual prints, there's an add CMYK color. And this is important uh, for some print shops because they work in CMYK. So that's definitely a, a great option too. On the right, you're gonna see three dots here. Click on that. You can reorder the palettes. So if I wanted to bring this up or down, we can do that. You can copy to another brand kit, make a copy or delete the palette. And then obviously you could rename this to something else. So I'll call this social media because these are kind of more the social media colors that I use in terms of my brand. I'm going to delete that. And then at the top right here, if we click on add and discover palettes, there are some pre-made ones made already, or you can add a custom palette. And then it's going to give you another color palette option here. So you can add multiple ones as well. Now heading over to brand fonts, the text styles, these are the default ones that Canva comes with. The three fonts I like to use mainly are League Spartan, this one here. Once you head over here to edit the little pen icon here, you can always change that font if you change your mind. You can have a starting default size. I typically start with 144 for like a headline, maybe bigger for thumbnails. And then if it has an option to bold or italicize the font, you can set that up here so that every time you log in, these fonts will always be set up at these default settings. Now this one, I'll change to aliens and cow, it's 72. And then for this one, I typically like to use some sort of script font like Madeline. Now the other thing you can do with fonts is upload them. So there's a button here to upload a font or you can just click on the tab here, upload the font. And what you need is a TTF file. So I'm gonna go ahead and click upload font. And I do have one ready here called 28 Days Later. It's kind of a grungy font. You simply select it, open it up. It's gonna ask you to confirm to upload it. 
By the way, make sure that wherever you get your font from, that you read the licensing terms, okay? This one is free to use for personal use, but not for commercial use. You can go to many free sites like 1001 Fonts or Defont.com. There's a lot of free ones, and you just have to read the terms there to make sure you can use them, and you'll be set. Now, as you see that under this Upload Fonts tab, you'll see 28 days later, it shows you a little preview. So it's fairly straightforward, fairly easy to set up. But how do you use this? I have a couple examples here to show you. This first example is a YouTube thumbnail, so I'm just gonna click on that. One of the things you can do is click on an element, and if you go into the color tab, you're now going to see that your branded colors are part of your color palette here. So I can easily change that blue to this blue instead. There we go, we wanna change that. The other thing you can do is head over to the menu here under styles. And let's say I wanted to apply all my branded colors to this thumbnail. You simply just click on it. And you can even do the fonts here. So I'm gonna change the fonts. There we go. And as you see, it applies the brand colors and the fonts to the thumbnail. Really handy. Now, the other cool thing is, remember we uploaded your logo on the left also is an area for your logos. So I can pull my logos in here and, you know, replace it if I wanted to. Really easy and accessible. If you ended up uploading your digital signature or any visual assets in your logos folder, it would show up here. I'm going to switch over to a presentation. We'll go under templates here and we'll click on this template. And I'm going to apply all 15 pages as you see below here. Now the beautiful thing about these brand kits, let's say I loved the format of this presentation. I like the design of it, but I wanted just my brand colors. I can go again back into styles here and apply my brand colors. At the bottom, you're going to see apply to all pages. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to take care of all the other pages. But this time around, I'm not going to use my fonts and I'm just going to leave it. So it's really handy for, you know, if you've got multiple projects for different companies, different clients, you can save all these different brand kits to apply to your projects. A very, very useful tool. So as you can see, the brand kit feature in Canva is so very useful. It'll save you a lot of time and it's so straightforward to use. Now, if you wanted to have a little bit more fun, check out this video on how to create cartoon style profile pictures using Canva and a fun little app called Photolab. Take care, my friends. We'll see you when I see you.